<clears throat> what do you stand for? Well, for starters, I... What do you believe? Um, I was gonna get into that a little later. Are those good moral values? I think so, because... Too less! Too less! Fine! Okay, let's get at it. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. So Turkey Day is here, and I'm so thankful for all the Not My Partiers out there who've been tuning in every week. And I've gotten your feedback. By now, y'all get my general vibe, and you're really clear on what I hate. And welcome back to What Miller Hates Most! Behind door number three, we have Bernie and his brosifs. Behind door number two, we have Taylor Swift. Been Team Jake since Brokeback Mountain. And of course, behind door number one, we have Donald Trump and his rage hustlers. Thank you for tuning in again. Bye-bye. That was fun. But as for what I stand for, well, some of y'all aren't quite so sure. You think maybe I stand for nothing? You stand for... So I want to take this holiday break to dish out my values for you. These three principles are my political North Stars. One, we should make sure that people have the opportunity to live a life of purpose and meaning. Every single one of us. Two, government should do a few big things right and then get out of the way. And three, the American democratic free market system is a force for good in the world. It needs to be promoted, protected, and defended. As for one, that means, yeah, I'm pro-life when it comes to abortion. I just don't know how you can sit next to a mom who's looking at an ultrasound and not believe that the being inside them is a life that has value and needs to be protected. But this is about more than fetuses. It also means a support system for the mom who's facing a tough choice and welcoming refugees and not putting kids in cages at the border. And oh yeah, when it comes to a deadly pandemic, it also means not starting a stupid ass culture war over vaccines and masks that gets people killed. <laughs> For number two, let me just give you an example of how government could do some big important things right and then get out of the way. To handle climate change, which is real by the way, let's pour tons of money into research on clean energy and pay for infrastructure to protect communities vulnerable to floods and fires. That would be nice. I'd even be okay with taxing carbon. John McCain was for that. My friends, it's working in countries around the world. But after that, let the private sector get to work. And by God, please, let's not have bureaucrats draft pages and pages of red tape that make it impossible for people to do anything. Here in California, we have a housing crisis and have spent a gazillion dollars on a train that isn't even close to existing yet, thanks in part to these dumbass rules. Gotta love bureaucracy. And for number three, and I think this might trigger some of you maybe the most, the American system of democratic government, free markets, and free people is the best thing that ever happened to the world. Tell me how you really feel. So for starters, we need to protect it and not let orange-faced clowns and confederate flag-wielding bozos try to overthrow it. And we must maintain our status as a world leader that promotes these values. Sure, we f***ed up, but our system has all also allowed more people to escape poverty and tyranny than any in world history. And if we stop leading the world, our replacement won't be a utopia. It will be some dark authoritarian sh and you can see it starting to happen right now. That would be terrible. While it might seem like a mouthful, my pals at the neoliberal project managed to put most of my views on one little yard sign. If being a yard sign guy wasn't so lame, I'd put that in front of my house. So while I can't claim that this show is unbiased, whatever that means, I can always promise I'll be honest with you and you'll know where I'm coming from. Scouts on. So happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Have fun with the fam. We'll see you next week for more Not My Party. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, hit that subscribe button.